Officer Trevino with the Metro Police Department, SORT Division, Homeland Security. I was assigned the task of looking into different less than lethal options for bus operators and after several meetings uh, we've come to the point now that we've decided to uh, test out one product further. This product uh, we're going to be testing today is the uh, takedown pepper gel product put out by Mace Company. These are basically the cans. These are training cans here and this is the actual unit. We're going to be using these for demonstration purposes today. Uh, compared to a regular Mace product which would be hard to use on a bus, this product here emits a, a gel substance instead of a, a mist, uh, therefore eliminating cross-contamination uh, or minimizing it very to a very uh, small amount. This uh, product is water soluble and can be cleaned if there is splatter. It cannot be inhaled. Uh, the only thing this does is number one, it affects your, the eye area with the irritant. It also affects the skin. Uh, it leaves the gel. It's almost like a glue substance on the face for identification. And if they do or are, are, are able to wash this product off, it, it, is, it does contain a UV product that stains the skin. It's not visible with the uh, human eye, but with a ultraviolet light, you can see this uh, UV product on the skin. That uh, cannot be washed off. It uh, usually takes about two or three days for it to come off on its own. So even if you find this person later on, you can use this light to identify them. If we decide to use this product, it would probably be in this size can. Uh, of course, it would not be yellow. It would be the bright orange. And this is the active product. Uh, two things. With the bright orange, if it's going to be used, it's more noticeable and being a smaller can you can either put it on your belt or in a holster next to the bus operator while he's driving so he can have easy access to it. Next we're gonna first test this on a uh, paper target to uh, see the stream and how it attaches and then we're gonna use an actual volunteer to uh, test on the on the bus itself. This first test is at about a distance of about eight feet. Uh, we're gonna be demonstrating this on a paper target first, and then we'll move into the bus and demonstrate the product in there. Stop. You'll see some splatter on the side. This was actually my first shot and I adjusted back onto target. Uh, it, it wasn't even actual splatter. The, the splatter from the shot is actually around here. You can see there's small droplets. And those can be wiped down with a uh, wet cloth or water. Uh, this cannot be inhaled. Uh, there is a pretty strong wind out here right now and uh, we've, we've been around eight foot around, I'm sorry, eight foot from the product and it was not uh, noticeable. There's not even an odor to it. Stop! Stop! I want my fare back! Ugh! 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 This next uh, clip we're going to film with the actual full strength product, 10% pepper gel. Uh, Officer Joe Drescher is volunteering and we have several patrons sitting around him to demonstrate uh, splatter and contamination control. We do have uh, one, two, three, four, five passengers on the bus around Joe to uh, demonstrate uh, contamination or cross-contamination of this product. Yeah, definitely. Please, please. I don't smell anything. There's, it's, 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 it's odorless. 
Uh, but I seen the splatter as the officer was sweeping from side to side where it went towards both passengers. It barely missed me, but if I'd have had uh, somebody beside me, sitting beside me, it would have definitely hit him. It does uh, do the job. The, uh, the actual spray was around his eye because of his glasses, and it still was able to produce a, a maximum effect with the uh, pepper. Uh, Officer Drescher did come at me, but it, after a few seconds, it, his concern was more getting it off his face and getting away than, than uh, attacking the, uh, the operator. Obviously, he, he, he needed assistance. He couldn't see, so uh, I think the product uh, is, is effective. Uh, I got a little splatter. I had no smell. There was no uh, burning effect on my skin and stuff. No. No air in it myself. Look like it hurt Joe pretty good, though. Looks like it'll work. It, see, it seemed like it worked pretty good. Uh, did spray a little bit out. I got some on my arm, but uh, it seems to be effective. It got him to where he uh, couldn't see. The main thing is, if you can't see, you can't attack anybody. The uh, product started burning in about five seconds into the test. Uh, right now, what you can't see is the UV dye that's on his skin, we're going to get a blue light and try to demonstrate the uh, residue that's left over that he can't really take off. Okay, this is a, a ultraviolet UV light. Uh, this is to demonstrate the UV ink that stays on the skin after it's shot. Officer Drescher's been washing off for about 10 minutes now, and this is just to demonstrate the product on the skin real quick. See the glowing blue? My main concern was uh, not attacking the bus driver, but uh, just getting off the bus and wanting to deal with whatever was on my face. But uh, the after effects are uh, pretty severe, pretty severe. I'm still on fire right now. It's been about 12 minutes after the incident, and I had copious amounts of water put on me, so it's uh, definitely effective after. When you initially sprayed it at me, I could, I could see the product coming at me. Your initial reaction is you want to get out of the way. Well, in doing so, it did hit me, give me a direct hit in the face. It did go up my nostrils. It did get me in my eyes. So uh, as far as uh, the effectiveness of the product actually getting in the person's face, it is a good product. As far as the product actually getting on the, on the would-be suspect, um, it was very effective. There was no splatter. It, as soon as it hit me, it stuck to my face as the product was designed to do. Of all the products that I looked at, this is probably the best one to use in this type of environment. Um, as you saw, it, it was very little cross-contamination. Um, gives you three different effects. It, 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 it affects the eyes. It puts the glue substance on, which is on the real thing, an orange substance. And it also marks with a UV stain uh, for, for, for future uh, identification.